Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the meowiest cats. I'm sure you heard it just <laughs> as the intro was finishing. Meow. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, isn't this the thing that we get treats on? Yeah. <laughs> I think it is, but not yet. Not yet. Not no, yet. The black Patience. cat. The black cat meowed when it went oh my ding. Goodness. He yeah, went meow. Like, oh, that's, that's my treat <laughs> noise. <laughs> Uh, welcome! Today we are going to be playing Atari Lynx Yay, games and with this temporary thing. That's pretty nice though. It'll work for now. There Excellent. we go. Excellent. Good it's job. Magnetic. Worked. Good job. Uh, uh, one is coming. A new one is I'm coming. I'm excited. I'm I'll excited. I'll have the first one. Yeah. It'll match all the other ones, but I'll talk about that when I get it. Mm. Um, we're going to be playing three Lynx games today. Uh, Nutmeg, uh, Black Pit, mm. and Zap. Three uh, very different games. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, one very interesting. So we'll see how that one goes. Uh, really interesting. Sprite is always quite vocal. He is. He says what he wants and yeah. he makes it known. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling down beside Tanya that uh, mm -hmm. keep these cats fed with treats. Uh, Al Nefer, Atari 1974, Atari, Atari's Maximus, Beef Supreme, BR Poker, Buffalo Pinball, Charles Donnie Mal, Charles Whelan, Chit Lilla, Colonel Lamb, a Dino, Identity, Dark Stall, Doc, Mook House, Great Defender, Great, Glenn Main, Ground Trooper, or Jure Rapper, Johnny WC, Kabuto Enzo, Kabuto Enzo, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, uh, Kev Kelly, Kefeltifer, Lambda Express, Lauren DDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Solo, Michael Town, Miss Command, MK Smith, Miss Mother 3, Mr. Zarnwoop, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neon Media, Nostalgia, Packard, VG Coog, Raymond, CRC70, Randy Ghost, Prentless, VG Ricardo Pem, Sledgehammered, Smitty B, Spice, Ress, Ramirez, Teleprompter, Tiki Dan K, Teepfos, Track MT, VVG, VVG Double Dan, X Ken X, and not you. I know, I need to resubscribe. <laughs> and if you want to uh, help uh, Tanya resubscribe, you yeah. can tell her that she can do it for free because she has Twitch yes, Prime, I and do. all she has to do is subscribe and link it up, but mm -hmm. you've already linked it up, so you just have to hit a button. I know, I just have to hit a button. No excuse whatsoever. Poor cats, they're not getting <gasps> fed by you, they're no. going to be... Have empty treat canisters. It's gonna be so sad. You have to try. See these cats are crying already. Oh, so cry! Listen we to this one. Do have a cry? poll question? No. No. Okay. no, not when you're holding them. No, they don't he doesn't really like cry. to cry. No. Speaking of cats, here's the poll question: How many animal companions Aww. do you have? Um, the answer start with cats. One is one cat. Two is two cats. Three is three plus. We're just going to lump that all into yeah. a category. If you have more than three cats, you're a, you're a three plus. They start, they start to outnumber the people in the house That's when true. there's three plus. Yeah, uh, depending then, on how many people are in the house. Then it's yes. uh, number four is one dog. Number five is two dogs. Number six is three plus what? dogs. Number seven oh is a gosh. mix of cats and dogs. Doesn't matter how many. Yeah. Um, number eight is other. I don't know. Hamsters, ferrets, things that'll chew the cables Lizards, in your house. Like turtles? rabbits. Ooh, sure. Rabbits. I had a rabbit for a while. Rabbits yeah. are cute, but they chew. They do. They're very Rats chewing. chew. Any yes. kind of rodents, their teeth keep growing, so they have to chew. Yeah. So they go for it. Nice. Um, uh, or nine, no pets at all. Mm. Some Makes people? Makes cleaning much easier. Oh, does it ever. Keeps the house clean. Yeah. I remember when I had no cats and no dogs. Yeah. I barely had to clean it. It was just <laughs> dust. And dust, dust takes a while. Yeah. But when you have cats, you get dust, cat cat bunnies, cat balls of fur yeah. rolling by in the wind. Tumbleweeds. Bounce, bounce. They're, they're tumble the, cats. They're the, the cat tumbleweeds, yeah. Tumble cats. Tumble cats. <laughs> yeah. They multiply. Suddenly you have two sprites and you're like... Yeah, is that... Is which one's the real one? one? Yeah. Oh, that one meowed. Okay, yeah. that's okay, the real that's one. The real we'll put the other one in the garbage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He creates a lot, especially yeah. in the spring summer. Yeah, he's, he's been shedding he's like been crazy. Shedding. You can see a clear delineation between his head fur and his body oh, fur. Look at that. Time. Kind of. young. So oh, young, oh, young, oh, young. oh, thank you, Miss Command. Miss Command gets in the treat time. Yay! Well, here you go. You get that other bell, and I'll start up okay. the treat time counter. We do have. Oh, oh, kittens. The scoreboard now. Let's reset the points to zero, zero. You can see this guy. He's diving oh. into, the, He's like, into the treats. Yeah, he is. Okay, I'm putting them down. Are you ready? Younger had Everyone? cats and goldfish, not at the same time. Okay. 
Oh, oh, that was a black kitten. That was spray. Yeah, that's a one. Atari. Oh, oh, good. One. Atari. Oh my gosh. What? He threw it over there. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's not going to get you a winner. It's not going to help you win. Oh, there he goes. He got it. Sprite was distracted. Sprite by was that. distracted. So okay. that's good. No, he's pretty good with that open now. Is but, he? Yeah. I won't don't close it all throw the way. it over there. I won't throw it all the way. Okay. Yeah. Who's next? Oh, Atari. Atari ties it up. Two, two. Yeah. Nope. There oh. we go. Sprite. Three, two. Oh, he almost caught it with his I mouth. I know. Atari's missing it. He's Atari trying. Try. Sprite oh, gets Sprite it. Sprite again. Whoop. And yeah, don't throw oh, it into again. the electronics. Atari. Atari. Atari Good gets kid. it, there and go. Sprite gets it as well. No, he didn't. Not yet. Oh. Did he? I thought he did. There, there we go. go. I'll put it back up Maybe to five. Maybe I missed that. That's okay. Five, three for Sprite. Try Is again, Atari. Hit it. Nope. Oh. oh Sprite gets it. Six threes dominating this time. Okay. Sprite is just not hungry enough for this. Atari. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, oh, my goodness. He's hitting it. Oh, that's okay. Sprite I'm gonna call it, it. I'm going to call it both because oh, I think he no. did kind of get it. That's definitely a bad call, <laughs> referee. Oh, bad no. Call. I think Atari did did kind of softly hit Bell it. Oh, that was Atari, Atari for sure, and not Sprite. Whoa, he caught it in midair. I know. Okay. Oh, double ding for Sprite. He's up to eight. Oh, he caught it in his mouth. <laughs> he caught it in his mouth. <laughs> He caught it in his mouth in midair. And Sprite is up to nine now. I don't know. Oh, oh. Atari is up to five. You're trying to get it. Atari a... took oh. Sprite. Stolen. Here. Stolen. No. Oh, oh my God. Atari Sprite. stole two. Sprite. I should deduct points Sprite. for that. Sprite, no. What's going on? Sprite hit it again. Well, that doesn't count. He hasn't eaten us yet. Oh, my goodness. You got two. What is going on here? And Sprite wins! Yay, Spritey Cat! He's catching it like this. I know! And he caught one in his mouth in midair. It was crazy. Okay, Ten you got one more, but you stole like two from Sprite there. That was extra points for Atari, I say. Oh! oh yeah! I don't know what we can do with that. Extra points? If he points? steals the treat? Oh, you know, he gets an extra treat. That's the, that that's might, the point. That, it's Thunderdome. It's Thunderdome. That's it's, true. It's... Maybe we should go for that. Oh, I don't know. That would encourage stealing. <laughs> I don't again. want to encourage. Oh, it's okay. Very hot. Yeah. <laughs> it is Thunderdome. Wow. Well, thank you. So Tanya and thank I you, have had, are on Cat 3 and 4 together. Together, yes. yes and yes. what cats are these for you oh my goodness including the childhood ones? childhood cats just cats so i had cleo when i was very very young uh smudge um yeah and that then uh rogue okay pixel atari so add two sprite. so six six this is five and six five and six okay and yeah. i had one you'd won before kid. before basil basil named after Basil, Basil faulty. faulty. Yeah, Because nice. my mom would like to call for him. Basil! 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 <laughs> As uh, Cute. Mrs. Faulty would. What was her name? Oh. Remember? I just remember her as Damn Mrs. It. Faulty, but yeah. I can't remember her name. Yeah. Uh, Atari rarely goes after Sprite's treats. That is very true. Usually the other way around. Yeah. Mm. He, but he is upping his game. He's catching them in midair. So, because he knows that the referee throws them very far. I so he's was... like, no. I nope. was purposely throwing them up to both of them, and okay. that kind of got them jumping a little. So they both got kind of excited. With Two that, cats so enter, it. one cat meows. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, so our uh, total is 40%, no animals. Uh, and then a bunch of people put it all over the place. So, uh, oh, 20% other. So a bunch of other things. Yeah, a lot of people uh, have other pets. And then 10% yeah. mix of cats and dogs. Nice. And then three cats two cats one cat all 10 percent yeah and nobody with just dogs really this is a cat crowd it and i a saw crowd. a statistic a little while ago that yeah. cats as pets? pets outnumber dogs in the u.s really yes not by too much but but by a, by a bit that actually surprises me a little that, bit that surprised yeah. me as well i thought dogs people were like yeah. love dogs yeah they but love walking you need, them you need a lot of space for dogs and i think people have less and less space now i maybe yeah. that's why they are more cats than dogs that that might be it but cats are casual you don't need to walk them yeah they have, 
go to the bathroom themselves. Yeah. You don't have to take them outside. Yeah, yeah. They're not on you 24-7. They have their own lives. <laughs> Those are only my reasons. <laughs> Other <laughs> yes. people love dogs because, oh, it'll always be there oh, when you yeah. want it. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're sad, you're happy, the dog will be right beside you. Yeah, so. yeah. Some people, the... some people like the neediness of dogs too. VVG Double Down says dogs are too needy. They are very needy. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's a lot for some people, and it it is a lot for me. I've had <laughs> I've had dogs in yeah. the past, but yeah, they were on you twenty four seven. Yeah, and it was quite a pain in the ass. And yeah. I tried to litter train them. No, that went very badly. Yeah, it's like they had small dogs they, too. Yeah, not big dogs. So they were fine in, inside. Yeah, but they would go in the area of the litter box. Oh, so not really. And it's like. This is useless. Yeah. <laughs> this is a mess. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, thank you for following Nitro Hepcat. Well, of course Nitro Hepcat follow. <laughs> They're talking about cats. This yes. is my stream. Excellent. This is awesome. Uh, Chitlid Lass says, I'm a dog person. The wife is a cat person. Right now, she gets her way. There uh, you go. Okay. Well, Chitlid Lass said, uh, they just got an orange kitty. So, oh. uh, hasn't met it yet. The wife has the cat right now. but uh, That's adorable. That is adorable. I love Hopefully it. Hopefully, we'll get to see a picture of the cat one day. Yeah. Maybe in the forums cat or tax. link it here. Cat tax. Cat tax. You have to, as soon as you say you have a cat, you have to show us that cat. And you're picking something up at our pharmacist for Atari. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, Speaking do you have any of? pictures? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll go to the Instagram yeah. <laughs> uh, of uh, Sprite and Atari. Yeah. And I showed the picture. And nice. he was like, yeah, you can go now. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I've seen the cat. We know there's yeah. a cat. They exist. So, yeah. That's and the uh, uh, Nitro Hep Cat yeah. picked five, which is two dogs. Mm. That doesn't make any sense. No sense at all. <laughs> um, so into Nitro's the Nitro's a Hep Cat, though. That's true. Yeah. Uh, into the news, we're going to be there, Vancouver Retro Yay! Gaming Expo on Saturday. Yeah. So if you're in Vancouver or the area and you feel like going on a trip this weekend to Vancouver, if you're in Seattle, Portland, it's just a couple hours drive. Yep. See the rest of the city. Can't guarantee sunshine, but it's supposed to be pretty nice this Is weekend. Is it? Okay, that's good. At least good. on Friday, Saturday. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, so, yeah, that should be fun. It's a pretty, pretty nice place. We're not going to be doing anything except wandering around, looking mm -hmm. at stalls, going to talks and stuff like that. Um, so we're playing Lynx today, and I've upgraded the Lynx um, kind of operating system. Okay. The, the menu. Okay. The menu system. The menu system. Uh, to the El Cheapo SD menu, um, which before there was no folders. Mm. And now there's folders, and now I can have like classic Lynx games, a homebrew folder, and today's folder, like I do with all the other uh, carts. So I did this a little while ago, but we haven't played the Lynx uh, since. So I updated that um, with uh, the help of uh, Atari Gamer. Um, so he was great help because I, I was very, very scared while doing it. Because last time it was off and on, work, working, not working, um, but I got it working again. Um, we will be going on a summer break mm -hmm. in the first two weeks of July mm -hmm. um, because July, uh, summertime is a very downtime for development. Okay. And that means no games to play, which I could go in the archives, but I might as well coincide it with a little break. I can okay. work on my uh, Atari 2600 programming. Yeah and uh, upgrade some stuff on the stream because mm -hmm. um, today just before the show if anybody was in early I had to reboot the computer <laughs> no. which I didn't actually need to do but the video output was all crazy so I had to run a temporary wire from the computer uh, to the screen we see in front of us so we can yeah. do the chat and the news mm. um, so I have to figure out what's going on there I think it has to do with either the wire or the amplifier it uh, mm -hmm. runs through. Personal time again! <laughs> oh, but when I come back, it'll be tons of awesome games. That's yeah. the great part. Mm -hmm. But we do have some great games coming up and a bunch of world premieres mm -hmm. as well um, before we go away. So don't worry about that. We have some good stuff. Um, and uh, we have something very exciting that should be here by the time we come back. Okay. It's on schedule to okay. be here. It's pretty cool. And it's pretty big. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really hope it's here. Mm. And, and it should be here. Because I just ordered it. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what it, it was, is. It was, but... Oh, you know what it is. Do it was I? expensive. Just ordered it. 
Oh, I anyway, don't know. That's I can't okay. remember. I'll tell you after. So I was just spending It'll be a, a lot surprise. of money on things because I uh, <laughs> didn't notice. <laughs> oh. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, it was directly from my bank account. Oh, so it wouldn't have they, triggered in... in no, because they yeah. charged uh, 3% on a credit card. Oh. Because they're just a small company. Oh, right? yeah, no, so, no. So, yeah. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, uh, no. I don't want to spend no, extra no. 3%. <laughs> How big is it? 55 inches. It's very large. It's really big. Yeah, it's very big. No? Still still can't figure it out. Okay. Well, I feel I'll tell like you it's after. something you I should You can think know. about it, but don't say what it is no, when you no, figure I'm it not. out. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, my, my brain know is it. blank. But I've been I... talking about it for many weeks. What? Yeah. She can't remember. Oh, it's way bigger than a 5200. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. 55 Just inches. mute and tell her, says Carl G. No, I'll figure it out. I'm just... People will be able to read my lips. Yeah. I'll have to go like this. <laughs> he must have been talking about it at a point where I just blocked him out. She just ignores <laughs> me. Yeah, I talk about it too much. It just turns like, into... I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. high-pitched tone when you're losing your hairs, you yeah. know, as you're getting older. That's it's like, right. oh, can't listen. I can't hear... I can't, uh, I can't hear that sound anymore. No. Yeah. Um, so the first game we're going to be playing is called Nutmeg. Okay. Uh, by Retro Guru, uh, which is a group of people. Um, a program by uh, Nop90, it was uh, Gisberto uh, Rondinella and Shahzad uh, Shahib, um, and a bunch of other people that you can look up. Mm -hmm. Um, this was back in 2019. It was part of the uh, Atari Lynx 30th birthday programming uh, competition. Let me just bring that up so we can take a look at it. Oh, that's too big. There we go. And that would be the Lynx 30th anniversary. Mm. So this was held by Atari Gamer. Um, Atari turns 30 this year. This was 2019, which we weren't doing Lynx games back then, which is unfortunate. Um, so the winners of that contest, we have played some of these games. We played On Duty. Mm -hmm. uh, we have played, I believe, Sky Raider. We've played YNXA. We've played Growing Ties. I think we played Fortitude. I'm not sure. Um, and there are the results there. So Nutmeg came in sixth place, which is mm. surprising. This is a really good game, but I, they're all really, really good games. Lynx is now eligible for cheaper auto insurance. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, so this is actually a uh, port of a web game, which is interesting says, here's the second game for the Atari Lynx from the Retro Guru team. This game is an entry for the Atari Lynx 30th birthday programming competition. The games can be downloaded or played online here. Nutmeg is an extended version of the Photon Storm's HTML5 game Nutmeg, which is a one-button side-scrolling jump-and-run game. The first five levels are the original ones. Uh, other levels are new and original creation. Retro Guru ki kindly thanks Richard Davey, Photon Storm, and Ilja Melati, oh boy, for permission to pick up on Nutmeg. Um, so let's take a look at the original game um, that is a oh. browser based game. Let me just browser based? Me, load it back up again. And then um, I can use my mouse to play so actually. Cute. Nutmeg. Touch to play. I don't think it had any sound. No? But we'll see. So you can just click with the mouse, and I'll try and keep it in the corner. Super cute. Oh, that's adorable. Look at all the fish and the birdies. Then I click. Oh, no. Are they being taken, or are they being commanded? <laughs> taken. <laughs> and this is you. And you press the button to jump. Or any button at all. And you can. Is it uh, an endless runner? No. Endless runner. Yeah. Oh, but you stop. But you, you stop you, you if you hit die. something. Yeah. Uh, you can die. No, but by... you don't die if you hit. Oh no no. Something. You don't get. Yeah yeah yeah. Smacked in the mean. face or anything. So cute. Can he swim? Uh no, he can't swim. So he's a duck who can't swim. He's lost his. He, he was never taught by his uh, mother ducks. So oh. He he doesn't know how to swim sad. unfortunately. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there you go. So that's a that's his little preview. I don't want to show too much off cute. of it. Um. The goal of the game is to rescue the blue ducks kidnapped by an evil guy. Mm. 
There are five. Oh the evil guy in the saucer. <laughs> I like that. There are five worlds, each with five levels. Mm -hmm. uh, the last world is hidden somewhere. At the end of every level, you get a small clue. Collect all of them and try to guess what they mean and how, where to use them to unlock the hidden world. The game is set. Logic is very simple. Use any key to jump. Mm -hmm. Pressing the key, uh, keeping the key pressed, you can do several jumps in a row. But jumping isn't always the best thing to do. To solve levels, you have to memorize the path and learn where to jump, and the correct timing is not as easy as it seems. So let's get into the game. Boom, boom. And we'll get it up on our screen. Oh, people are still voting. Excellent. Let's see what's pulled Hi ahead, in. actually. Hey, as uh, Ramirez, OG Rapper. Ooh, all the cats. One, two, three cats have pulled ahead with 15% now. Ooh. Wow, good stuff. Lots this is cat a cat winners. crowd. It is a cat crowd. What do you like better? Hmm? Like all games, swimming is fatal until the sequel. And yeah. then you swim. <laughs> then you swim. Or you're in the water level. Yes. Yeah. So this is A, and this is B. Hmm. And we're going to be using our uh, double down joystick that works on our consoleized links mm -hmm. that has VGA output. So I'm very excited to use this again. I'll, I'll start it up. <laughs> You'll start got it a up. Cat. I do have a cat. So see, there's, Hi. Oh. there's nope. uh, menus now, as you can see. Very nice. There's folders, I mean. Folders, that's excellent. And there's the today's games. Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Oh, he's back. Nutmeg's starting with. Back and crying. Nutmeg. Oh, so cute. Nutmeg for Atari Lynx is a homebrew software. It's not, oh, Photon Storm. That's the original people. Nice. And then Retro Guru. Nice. Which is the team that made it. Nice. Nutmeg. I think I can turn it up a little bit. Who made the music for this game? Let's give some credit out here. It's a big team. Uh, Roland Voss, Triace, and Johan Letfors, Vetter, for music. And uh, even has a soundtrack uh, option. Oh, nice! So I'm guessing these are for... The different uh, levels. Ah, Amiga! Amiga. <laughs> Very nice. We'll go back. High scores are nothing easy to beat. Okay, you get to go first. Yep, it's just jumping? It's just one button. I think you can use either of the buttons. And we'll go world first one. one. Yeah. So cute! Oh, it's a big monkey. Was it a monkey in the first one? It, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Didn't even notice. Monkey with glasses on, it looks like. Oh. It's hard to say. There you go. Careful. And you get it too. Oh, my goodness. Stage one, one. <laughs> oh. There's it's a, a bit of a slight delay. delay. Oh, you're holding it. Understand the timing of the game when you play it's, games. It is no rather what slow. Hey, can you get out of there, please? Oh, 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 oh kitty. Okay, let's keep reading the. Oh, oh, just in time. There's no water below on that one. Um, in some levels there are cactus, ooh, spikes, pink cats, ooh, and rolling stone balls to make everything harder. When you know how to beat a level, you can try to make a high score, taking all the stars you can, but not all the stars can be taken. Attached, you'll find a text file with instructions and uh, credits, which is pretty much the same as this. Um, here's the most in... Oh, there's the guy. Hey! You did it! Stage complete! 25 so stars, 41 times, score 1,040. Clue is you. Mm. Press A button. Is okay. it the A button or a button? I just don't know. How stable is Atari as a joystick rest? Not. No, he's very squishy. <laughs> he is not stable. So you can mute and unmute the music with option two. Rotate the screen with pause and option two. Interesting. Reset the high scores. Option one and two. Ah. Uh, up is up button. Down, down. Uh, select A. Where really there's any button. Oh, piggies. That's, or is that cats? It said pink cats. It looks like a pink cat. Get a good look at it. It jumped out of the way, which is good. Oh, kitty! It is a pink kitty. Oh. 100% a pink kitty. So I'm guessing you get some points. Oh, no, you should have jumped dead. 
dead spikes, spikes dead. It's a little hard to know what's coming because of, uh, of the It is the way one of screen. those games where you kind of have to no, memorize ahead of time. it a little bit, know ahead of time, like whether to go up or down or to jump in certain spots. Yeah, so you would have maybe died, but you might have been able to jump over. Definitely need to jump there. And this is where you have to jump after this, maybe. Jump, 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 jump. Way too light. It's a very, there's a big delay when you hit the button. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, uh, you have Lynx games. I do have Lynx yay! games. Yay, woo! Um, we have a consoleized Lynx done by uh, K Retro, uh, Igor, um, at Atari Gamer. Um, and this is um, VJ out from it. And uh, Lynx has variable uh, frame rates. So if you see weirdness on the screen, uh, little lines and stuff, that's because it doesn't have a frame rate. It's crazy. Oh, oh that's not useful. If the water has a floor, I, I was playing it beforehand, you can jump floor. out of the water. Oh, oh there okay. you go, 1040. Continue, yes. Try. Yes. Yeah, stage one, two. Because then we can keep playing. Keep playing. I like that. Die and retry. Yes. It's yeah. one of those games. Because you kind of have to memorize it. So without redoing it, that's going to be really hard. Especially starting from level one. Kitties. They look like octopus cats. With all their legs. <laughs> they look, like, a, they look legs. like they have three legs. And into the water. Woo, good job. Ooh, oh, Ooh, what's that? Do I get to go in? No. No? Should I go up? Ooh, it's kind of dangerous jumping. Oh my god, see? Yeah. <gasps> and the thing is, once you jump, you jump the same You're arc. You're committed. You cannot it's old go school. further or you can't adjust your jump. You just jump yeah. and you Super jump old in the exact. Jumping. Yeah, exactly cannot move midair, which makes sense because physics-wise, you really shouldn't be able to adjust <gasps> oh, oh, midair. Oh, that's the end. Yeah, it is. There you go. Yay, rescue Yay! two. Two of our friends. It does look nice. It looks really it's good. It's gorgeous, gorgeous backgrounds. Um, is it parallax? Yeah, it is parallax. So the front and the back scroll independently. Oh. Jump, 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 jump. Can I get up there? No. Ah! Cats. Not the good cats. No, 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 no! Ah, <laughs> I jumped with, moved with me. Uh, mean cats. Super mean cats. They live in spiky worlds. Mm -hmm. So dangerous. Yeah. You're better off staying close to the ground. On this one, I think so. Yeah. yeah I'll try not to jump as much. Sometimes you have to. There's spiky things. I have to jump. I'm gonna fall, fall there. Oh, I can jump over him good. Oh, that's good. Oh, I see a spike. I have to jump. Yeah. Don't know what's coming though. No! Oh! Ooh. If you hold it down before you land, you can jump. Mm. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. That is there. hard. Back to the beginning, one three. Yeah, because the arc of the jump, if you're not careful, you jump over things right into obstacles. Yep. Yeah. Like, I couldn't do anything about that. Yeah. Yes, continue. See it's, shame, can... it's a shame there's no double jump. You couldn't just do it like a whoop, extra jump. Yeah, that would be... Save yourself, you know? And that would fall under the spirit of a single button. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna die, because I... No, oh, maybe not. Oh, I just nicked him. Actually, I didn't. His hitbox is big. Mm. I don't think I actually hit him, but we can get a replay on that. According to the game, you hit them. Yes, and that's that all that all counts. all that matters. Drop down. Pink Kitties. Kitty. <gasps> no, 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 you know, no. no, you did it again. Uh, you can't jump too fast. You I, have to I fall should, down to the I ground. Need, yeah, I need to fall in, yeah. in between that. Crate challenge. <laughs> crate challenge. What? 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 There's crates? What? <laughs> <laughs> fall is... This there is memorization to this. Yeah, you're always that far right word on screen, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you stay right smack in the middle, I think. It would be nice to hang back a little bit. Yeah. You, you, 
everything just yeah you're constantly moves, in the same spot moves around you yeah, yeah. So really they only need to draw this little guy in one spot either vertically oh i don't know what i need i need to jump you need off to the jump end off of that. the end of that yeah just don't jump sooner than the end of that yes yeah Yes, we have played Atari today. Pretty much every day, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. Yeah. Big jump. Yay. I have to jump there. And I have to jump. And I have to jump. I have to jump. You have to do it early, too. Yeah, you have oh. to jump really early over that spike. That's what you did last time, too. Wow. When you got that far. I am terrible at memorizing. I am, by I'm the way. bad, too. You know what? It's easier to watch and memorize than it is to play and memorize, is one thing that I've noticed. Mm. It's easier for me to watch and go, oh, you missed, you need to jump there. And it's like, yeah, because I'm watching. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know why that is, but it is. Oh, I got a new game. You did? Because it was your birthday. It was my birthday. Oh, God. Aww. And so I got... Happy birthday! Uh, yay! Happy birthday to me! Um, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, never heard of it. <laughs> really fun. Because you played the one before it. I played the one before. It, so yeah, Breath of the Wild. I so, thought it would be a good uh, present for you. That was my, my present from James, so... Because yeah. we just like playing lots of <laughs> video games. <laughs> well, we're not playing video games. We're playing we're video playing games. We're playing video games! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Command. Um, yeah. Uh, too, uh, too early. early. Yeah. No, too, not too early. Or, sorry, too late. Yeah. You think I could jump over both of them? It's always easy to tell what someone what they've done wrong, yeah. You're, 100%. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. How come you're terrible with that joystick? Yeah. Get better at the, get, get just, better at game play. Just get good. Come yeah. <laughs> um. Well, you can't fall down that. No, in the middle, you walk over it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, jumping early, jumping late, yeah. Exactly. Oof, that was close. Okay, I'm going to try now, to jump, jump both of them. No! Oh, I don't think you can jump both of them. Thank you! Yes, it was my 21st birthday. Yeah, over and over and over Over again. and over. <laughs> for many years. And she looks good for 21. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been really fun. And, I've been enjoying it a lot. I like that. I like, we went uh, to a RPGs. concert, outdoor concert. We did, yes. There's um, a brewery that they, over the summer, they have, um, they're not free concerts, but they have these concert series that they do. Boom! Too early. You, like, landed, bum, right down on the spikes for that <laughs> one, too. And we went before, uh, a number of years ago. Yeah. Uh, it's the Red Truck Brewery concert series, and yeah. they had about five bands playing, and you go and you buy drink tickets, and they have food, and you, uh, enjoy yourself. It was a lot of fun. Bum first. Bum right into the spikes. Ow. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it, like, almost right away, but not quite. I just noticed the cute, the cute face he makes as he's going down there. Ah. 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 Ooh, water. I hope the end is very soon, because if I mess up again, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, I hope so, too. Oh, boy. Uh, oh! Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, okay. So I have to fall from the fourth one? Which one was it? Nightmare. Nightmare. I mean, forget collecting stars. Just try and survive yeah, in this world. You just want to pass through the levels. Stars are just like a bonus. Yeah. I feel like this one. Here, get to the end before you jump. Or this one. No. It's only two. No. Then. It's only two. Okay. I can't fall. No, you need to go right walk to the end, to the end, end before okay. you jump. Don't jump in the middle. That's what you did last time. Again, it's easy to tell people. <laughs> what do to it do. better. No. You're so bad. Especially on puzzle games. No, no, no. Do it this way. <laughs> and I got you a cake as well. Yeah, like we way still too have much frosting. so much cake. Oh god. Too way early. too, too big a cake for for the two oh, of us. Oh yeah, it's gonna rot in the fridge. <laughs> Mortal Kombat demo. 
Uh, did I see that one? No, I haven't seen that one. Um, is it demo? Mortal Kombat does it, demo? Does it, does it play? Is there things to do in it? Is it just a demo? Or is it just like, just shows you? Like... Uh, no, you're good. Oh, you got the star too. Very good. Oh. Not big on fighting games, but I'll have to... Oh, too late. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's another language. What language is that? Oh, it's just screenshots. Oh, okay. oh well, no. Getting ready to, uh... To make it real. Mm. The next one, the second one. It's gonna be the end. See if I can pass over this dude. Yeah. Yay! That's what you actually have to do. Yeah. Okay. End soon, please. Please end soon. End very soon, please. I will not be able to survive. And... <gasps> no! It's too long. This level. Oh, uh, it's so long. Way too long. <laughs> oh my goodness! I bet he's. I bet that blue duck is right around the corner too. Oh, of course. Ugh. Hiding. He's actually been behind you the whole time. <laughs> That's right. Just, just turn around. He's just chasing. One more try in this one, then we'll start like going through the levels and taking a look at it. Okay. Them. See a few more levels. Then. Or give me a shot. What this one? Yeah. Yeah. Because because you know exactly what to do. Well, right? Yeah. <laughs> and exactly when to press the button. No. It's really easy. Just press the button. Yeah. One button. It's only a one Come button on. game. How? Nothing easier than a one button game, right? That's right. Oh, too late. Oh. Okay, your turn then. Good luck. What else? Oh. Come on. Yeah, that's uh, the delay gets me. What else did we me. do? We did something else, didn't we? No. We went for dinner. Went for dinner as well. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm hitting the button. It's just so delayed. So, delayed. so what am I looking for at the Retro Gaming Expo? Not much. <laughs> Mostly just looking around. Maybe some... Um, if I see some cool tabletop games. No, no that's the problem. Um, or Game & Watches. But they're usually quite expensive. Like both of them start start at a hundred dollars each um, because they're not they're they're pretty rare. Both of them, and and for a hundred dollars each, you're not going to get a very nice looking one. The stickers are going to be bad. Press button, <laughs> or the screen's going to be scratched. <sighs> no, I would I would exit after you're dead. It's so. Uh delayed. I don't know how you play it so well because I find I find the the delay on the the jump is really I just hold it down if I want to jump right away and anticipate. You have to like See you hold the button to jump? You just keep jumping if you hold the button? Yep. Oh, don't play it again. We no, have to I move wanna, on. I want to play. You took over. Um, yeah, you can hold down the button. Like there, you oh. have to hold down the button. Oh, I didn't oh not to too many. That. Gonna get hit by the pink cats. They're gonna bite your toe. No. They're gonna bite it in half. Hold it. Oh. You don't. It doesn't even seem like you're gonna catch the end of that. Oh, you do, just barely. No, that was bad. Boink. Oh, you did it. Hold it. There we go. Whew. Nope. It's quack. Oh, never heard it quack before. It quacked. Quack. Tanya, throw the controller against the wall. <laughs> no, it's a special controller made just for this Lynx. Don't throw the controller. That's a terrible suggestion, teleprompter. Hold it. Oh my God. Hold it. Yep. Hold it. Right at the end. Right at the end. 
right at the end. No! no! The cat got you! <sighs> we can rebuild it. We have the technology. Okay. Okay, let's look at the other ones. <laughs> uh, the ruins. And we know what happens to those poor little things. Oh, missed that. Oh, very nice. Will I make it up there? No. Six million dollar controller. Well, not six million, but... Uh... <laughs> well, this one was free because it was a gift. Hi! For our five year anniversary of the show! Yay. So I changed my... <laughs> yeah, maybe Gamma Dev. That's what he's doing. What? Who's doing? <laughs> Gamma Dev says, it would be a cruel prank to add a secret switch that adds a, a, hun a hundred millisecond delay that James oh, keeps flipping. Oh, God. That would be so cruel. This is level one, so it might be easier than other levels. Mm. No, uneven. Look at their <laughs> unevenness. We'll play till we uh, run out of lives. Oh, God. So cruel. This game is cruel. Or worse, a variable length of delay. Oh, God. Yeah, how bad would that be? Oh, it's you're really like bad. Memorizing the, the pattern and the variable length. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You'd have to memorize oh, the, can you imagine? the random pattern. This, this is a game of memorization. It is. Because yeah. you're jumping and you don't know what you're jumping into. Sometimes. Like, Here. Not yet. Here's the next... Um, isn't that one? It's above, also, or maybe, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and also, it depends on where you're going in the game. Well, this it, is a pretty If it's above big... or if it's not above. Like, if you're on the ground floor, like I was. I think I stayed mostly on the ground floor. Here. Early and immediately. No, you have to do a long jump oh, there. Oh, no. Ugh. Arr. Okay, let's take a look at mm -hmm. the desert level. Because you, you have to have a desert level. So basically like a marriage? What? <laughs> what is <laughs> Variable delay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cactus. Cacti. Oh, and cats. Oh my god. Cactuses cats, and cats. The cats eh? can go through the cacti. <gasps> That's not fair. No, it is not. They would they would just oh, get God. Oh tumbleweed. I didn't, I didn't know if it was gonna fall. They would just there. get spikes all caught in their fur. Oh, It'd they be can, terrible. Lick, 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 lick. lick the spikes? Oof. They'd have to. Ooh. Oh, that's a big jump. Oh, this is a hard level. Jumping into the unknown, there you go. Like it, a it is. Oh, go. I see. <laughs> gotcha. Cats and cacti living in harmony. Well, Sort if of. you are jumping into the unknown with the marriage, maybe you should have lived with the person first. <laughs> James. And gone on vacation with them. Yeah. Those that... Oh, you did it again. That's okay. You can't. You have to know that's coming. Uh, yeah, you have to oh, jump. Oh, no, I don't want to... No, that's oh. okay. Do it again. Those are the... Those are two good rules. Oh, I didn't even see that cactus. <laughs> is, is live great. with them and go on vacation with them. Mm-hmm. And, um... When we met, oh my god, I think a couple, like two weeks after, Not two I was weeks. going through, It was a month or no, something. No, the wedding. Oh no, a two, yeah, 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 you were That's, going, going to your cousin's a, wedding, yeah. Oh god, too late. <laughs> and, and, and we were, and I said, uh, do you want to go? And we're like, hmm, maybe not. No, you didn't, you I didn't, didn't ask say? me. No, oh. you didn't ask me. You just said, oh, I'm going to my cousin's wedding. I was like, yeah, that's fair. We've been dating for three weeks. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, no. Yeah. No. I just remember you going and, and, and you, you wanted to ask almost. I did. Oh, but I did. it was like, oh, that's a whole. I agree with the vacation thing. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And not a two day vacation. No. A vacation with, with some with some length to it. Jump over that. Yeah. Um, because that's, that's yeah. what tears that's, people apart is vacations. If you're not going to live together ahead of time, definitely vacation together because that really does. And, and not show a, you your and not ability a, to get along. <laughs> and not a beach vacation. Oh, either. yeah. A, uh, a vacation Actively with... Actively doing something. 
Ooh, I just jumped. Okay. Well, those have um, bottoms to them, so you can get out of them. Ah, nice. It's the endless pit ones. Yeah, <laughs> schedule every minute people and play it by ear. People should never marry. Oh, no. No. <laughs> That's just a recipe for disaster. Yeah, Carl G, which which category do you put yourself into? Play it by ear no, wait, wait, or wait, schedule wait, wait, every what, minute? What, what? Do, what do people think we are? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Do you think we're play it by ear people? Or do you think we're <laughs> schedule, every minute? schedule every minute people? <laughs> Type your response in the comments. Yeah, yeah. I bet everyone will get it right. Or amazing race that ends many oh, a relationship. I think that was the last one. Nope. Uh, volcano. Was volcano. That the one I did? did we... Yes. Yeah. Okay. And and then there's a hidden level, which is like mm -hmm. you have to go like up, down, left, right, left, right, uh, something like that, probably to get there. Well, VVG says one of each. One's play it by ear and one's schedule it. Nope. I think you're opposites. Okay. Play it. Play. Oh, who is who? RC70, I think you're opposites. Yeah, VVG, I get. I guess one of each. Carl G says they are more of a play it by ear. Although they like to have some plans. Yeah. I would have to say... Um, They're not saying, wait, wait, I want to see. Oh, Carl G says James is more the scheduler. James, James schedule. schedule it T, play it by ear. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're wrong. We're both schedulers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's why it works so well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cinegraphics. Okay, we're on to the next. Uh, Although I will say, I like to schedule before I go. Oh, me too. I like to play it by ear when I'm there. So I like to have things well, not, planned. Not play it by ear, not throw out the schedule. Well, I'm not someone who, who, who has like everything scheduled like down to the minute. Because I know people oh, who are like no. that. Nine o'clock, we get up for breakfast. No. Or Seven a.m. Breakfast. Blah blah. Not not quite like that. No. I always leave space in my schedule to do some things, but I love schedules. <laughs> They're the best. And we we create a lot of Google Maps. Oh, oh so many Google. So maps. many Google Maps of all the things we can do. So uh, the same team. Yeah. Is now or was making this for the Sega Dreamcast. Okay. Uh, called Super Nutmeg. And here's a video of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Of course, higher resolution. Nice. Smoother scrolling. And this is the newest version I could find? I don't know. So there's classic which is the one we just played. And then there's a new version of Arcade where you can move around. You can move left and right. It's not an endless runner. So we'll see, um, we'll skip ahead so we can see the Arcade version of, or the classic. So you can see it's much smaller, of course. Little bit more power in the drink. Well, you can see further ahead, which is helpful too. Oh, yes, <laughs> that does help. Yeah. I think with the links, if they just put the character back a bit, it would be easier, yeah. There would be no detriment and yeah. only positive. Yeah. The stars. Wow, the stars. And uh, then we're going to skip ahead to the arcade version. So you can stop. Oh, I see. Oh, right? crazy cats. This is what I would love to play. <laughs> oh, so I'm yeah. much better at platformers yeah. than endless runners where you don't have a look. Oh, you can go in them. So cute. So cute. Super, super cute. Um, so I'll probably download that. I do have a Dreamcast, and I do have a loader for my Dreamcast as well. So, okay, we're on to the next uh, game. Um, I'm laughing at the comments. Yeah. Carl G says, do you need a vacation from your vacations when you get home? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes on the planned ones, <laughs> right? Yeah. I always take a couple days before I go back to work. Oh yes. Oh, you can't go straight <laughs> you from. You need a break. You can't if you're go doing straight something from really vacation intensive, to work. If you're doing something intensive, it's like a beach vacation. That's fine. But... Oh my god. What was that? Sounds like a popped tire. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. Um, okay. So the next game is Black Pit by uh, Frederick Descharm. Nice. Uh, Fadist. Or I think it is actually Fade ST as an Atari ST. Fade because ST. Because I saw it online, and the S and the T are capitalized ah, on go. 
but not on uh, Atari age. So it's Fadest. <laughs> so it's Fade ST, Ooh. not Fadest, but they can confirm for me. Mm -hmm. um, so this uh, game is called Black Pit. Uh, came out December 12, 2021. Uh, they also did Asteroid Chasers, which we played, a Bugs Trip, which we played. Uh, what else have we played on this one? Uh, I think yes, Tuna, YNXA, and they've done a bunch of other Lynx games. Um, you can download the last game and this game online. So after I posted that I was going to play it on the show, uh, Fade ST said, thank you, but I'm not sure there'll be too much to see on stream. Now I've got to explain this. This game mm -hmm. is all audio. This game you can play if you're visually impaired. Really? Or completely blind. Wow. And so I thought, wow, that's really cool. There yeah. are not many games that you can play without visuals yeah. on older systems like this. Um, so I did some research, and there are a number of games that you can download and play if you have uh, visual impairments. Wow. Um, put your headphones on. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, tank, we'll turn it up a little bit. Um, so I was doing some research about modern games mm. that you can play um, if you have visual impairments. Um, and I found a couple of them on Steam that you can play. I'm going to change the cartridge right now. This one is called Lost and Hound. Solve mysteries, find the lost people in trouble. Track down criminals and save lines in this blind, accessible canine adventure. Very cool. Meet Biscuit, the one and only doggo detective. Oh. Uh, user, uh, use her superpower hearing and scent. There we go. Uh, tracing skills to make the world a better place Aww. than how you found it. So I'm guessing it's all audio cues. So you can, you can play it with the visuals or you can play it and, and not really worry about the visuals. Yeah, so all three games that I found on Steam are both. So oh. you can play it if you're visually impaired or even if you're nice. not, it has visuals too. Nice. So it has all audio cues. Uh, then this next one is called The Veil, Shadow of the Crown. Close your eyes, become a warrior. Mm. Feel your enemy's rasping breath. A foot shifts on sw swampy ground. A crack of steel on wooden shield. The Veil is an audio-based action adventure that sets out to breathe new life into medieval combat and fantasy narrative. Neat. And uh, it looks like it has just nice visuals. Like, they don't really... Well, they have a map. But they um, they don't necessarily correspond to the gameplay. It looks like just you're looking up at the Background, stars, yeah. but I'm not sure. Neat. Uh, this next one called Blind Drive. Mm. Uh, an audio-based black comedy action arcade game. Blind Drive is a video game you can play with your eyes closed. First-person hyper-realistic audio adventure meets fast-paced arcade gameplay driven by an insane B-movie plot. Very interesting visuals here. Don't know what they mean, because I haven't played it. But it uh, looks nice. You can see how far you've driven. Interesting. I wonder how you drive without visual cues. Interesting. I guess you can... I bet you can, like, hear where the road is and where you are in the road by... Maybe. Oh, the noise coming to the left and right. Interesting. Yeah. Neat. Like warps real sound for the Saturn that could be played with no visuals. Mm. And I've seen things, um, somebody playing like Street with no, uh, they didn't have any sight. Donnie here. But they could. Oh, Start driving. What the hell? Wait, hey! Oh, okay. So you can hear when turns are coming up. Gotcha. Um, but the person playing Street Fighter was listening for the other person to make a move because they make sounds. A distinct oh, yes, sound they do. for every move. Oh. So if you're doing an, a kick, it's a sound. If you're doing a rotating, flipping kick, it's a different sound. Wow. Yeah. You just have to memorize all the sounds. Well, there's an actually an Atari 8 bit game for the blind Fandle made in 2016. Mm. Oh, very nice. Um, so. Let's go back to the links. Um, so let's read all about that. This is my entry for the Lynx Jam 2021. I hope you're not afraid of the dark. Menu up here. And uh, let's read through the instructions first because 
it's going to be uh, a little bit different. Uh, because you will, you will uh, be nearly alone. It's a very experimental game where your eyes will be kind of useless and mm. you will be playing played by hearing sounds. So you're in a dark labyrinth. Your only information is you have a timer, you have a compass, your sonar, and your computer. The sonar makes a different sound each time it touches an obstacle, which can be a wall or teleporta teleportation gate or a monster. Mm. There are also some disturbing artifacts on screen and in the headphones. The, the game is best played with headphones on mm. Lynx 2, which is that, but we're not really playing with the Lynx 2, because it had um, more stereo separation, I'm oh, guessing. Gotcha. Um, and if a monster sees you from a profile, it will shout. So you'll hear it in your right or your left. So I don't know how well this is going to do. We do have a television. It's a little bit far away. We're going to yeah. turn it up. But at least we're going to look at the game yeah. and kind of listen it to it. Yeah. Um, 16 levels from very easy to very challenging in a limited time. Will you enter the Black Pit by Fadist or Fadist? Um, Black Pit. Commander, the squad is ready for the suicide mission. Who's the squad? Well, once again, it's you. You're not nice. the not the most trained space marine. You're the only volunteer. So this is probably why you're the perfect guy for this suicide mission. Also, there's no budget for expensive equipment. You'll have to rely on a compass and your good old sonar computer. Yes, B-Y-O-D. Sorry, we prefer to keep night vision goggles for the elite commandos. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you may encounter some interference. Don't worry, it will not harass you after your death. Last point. I hope your sonar computer is Lynx 2 model, or you'll not be able to experiment uh, sonar tracking for monsters. Or maybe Lynx 1 was only mono. Hmm. It's not that it's 100% needed, but I guess knowing there's a monster to your right or left could be useful. I don't know. I never volunteered for a silly mission like this. Good luck and remember, there's no shame in giving up, as long as nobody else knows. So it's quite easy. You're in a labyrinth. You must find the exit. Mm. Graphisms are in your head, so if you want the game to be an FPS in 4K resolution, it's all good. But as you play in the dark, the screen only displays your compass and the remaining time. You only have nine minutes to escape. Gameplay mostly uses sounds via your sonar. When your sonar hits an obstacle, a wall or teleportation gate, it makes a sound. If the sonar hits a monster, the monster will shout. Time between sounds depends on distance. So if you move too fast, you may miss some important information. There are also some other sound information, like your heart. When time decreases, your heart rate increases. Mm. Electromagnetic perturbations, also visible on the screen. And sometimes, if a monster sees you from profile, it will shout from the left or right again. The good thing is that all sonar impacts uh, and your moves are recorded, so it may be helpful. There is a map. We mm. can go to a map if necessary. So how to play. Up, move forward. Down, move backwards. Left, right, rotate. Button A or B, strafe. It's A, B. Um, uh, yeah, so A would be r strafe right, and B would be strafe left. Mm -hmm. So you're just moving left and right. Uh, option one, display the computer screen. Be careful, time is still flying. When you look at the computer, there is no pause. Sorry, we can't, won't, we won't take the risk to give you a weapon. Imagine what a monster could do to us with an AK-47 after your death. But there's good news. Monsters can't move. At least we're pretty sure they don't move. And nobody came back to tell us they move. <laughs> so if you hear a monster, just don't go in that direction. Okay. Yeah, it was wonderful. But you said the sonar, it just constantly goes, goes off? Goes like deet, deet, okay. deet, deet, as you get so closer to a wall. So you're not pushing a sonar button. No, you, it's you, constant it's constantly. sound. Okay. Um, there's four difficulty modes from one to eight. Uh, uh, one to eight level in each mm -hmm. mode. Uh, you can shoot. Yeah, we'll just pick the first level. Um, and he said some suggestions, which won't make any sense to us, I'm sure, until we play. Okay, so load it up. Black Pit. Which it's under this one? Yep, today's date. And there you go. Now we're going to have the volume up, so if you hear echoes, um, I apologize. Let's make something scary. I think that was the theme for mm -hmm. that year. So it's initializing. So we definitely want very easy. And one. Put your headphones on, close your eyes if you dare.
What is that dot on the left? They ignore the dot. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's how many minutes you have left. I think it's counting down. That's your heartbeat. Dun, dun. What's the bang? I think that's sonar. That might be a monster. So you're heading east. So you do have a compass. I'm confused. Oh, no. There you go. So there's a wall right in front of you. In the south. Now to the west, there's a wall way off in the distance. North? Wall in a north. little bit ahead of you. West, there's a wall way ahead, so you can move west. Coming up to a wall. south and I can go east. west. That's no good. So you can go a little bit north. Now you're at the north wall and a west wall is a little bit ahead. So I would go west. I don't know which way I'm going at all. And you can't visualize it in your head? No, because I don't know where I started. Well, I no, got confused. you don't. <laughs> like you could start now and it wouldn't matter. switch over to the map just so we can see what it looks like right now to yeah. give you a visualization. It would be good to know if you're trying to go east or north or west. South. You need to go south. So you start in the top left and you're, you're in the corner. So you probably want to go east. You've been wandering around that little top Never left east, corner. West. Okay. So just far east. Yep. So press the button. Okay. Exit. Oh, I see. So you're east. trying to get east. So you can hear there's no sonar because you're really far away. That's not forward. That's forward. I'm strafing. Yeah. That's why I'm confused. That's why. Okay, you've hit the north wall. You need to go east. Feet don't fail me now. I think so. On the left? It's hard to tell. Sounds like the left. Yeah, the stereo separation is not great. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like a left. So don't don't go north. Remember the monsters don't move. Yeah. Carl G says, I started an audio-only Space Invaders type game for the 2600, but the source was lost in the Great Crash. Oh, need re reworking anyway, though. At the height of the Dragon's Lair craze, I saw a blind teenager who could finish the game. The only potential trip up for him was the flipped screens. Oh, you brought a teddy down. Oh, good kitty. This is Atari's teddy. And he brought it down for us. Good kitty. Thank you so much. There you go. So you're near an east wall. Do you want to see the map again? Sounds like there's a monster. Do you want to see the map again? Sure. Where am I? Takes a while to Show draw. Me where it's I am. drawing. So yeah. you are very, very far east. Yep. And you're almost to the exit. <laughs> oh, you have to press the button to get out. Oh, cute kitty. What is that? That 
It's a monster. In front of me. That's got to be in front of me. It sounds like a little bit to the left. So I See, think if you're I go okay. north. No, nothing. Oh, okay. East. Oh, okay. So I can't go east. No, no, no. It tells you when a monster is on your left or right. But what about not if it's in the in front center? Of you? No, it said it was only telling you if it's on your left or right. Okay. Not in the center. So I, I can keep going east because it, it's more frequent now. I think level one is it's a hallway and you just go straight east. It's getting faster though. That know. doesn't make sense. How can it be to the left or right of me? It's making because more you're noise. closer to it, but it's still on your left. No, no, I haven't played it before. It's getting louder as I'm moving east. That might be the exit. Let me see. It's very confusing. Maybe there are no monsters. Maybe I'm just getting closer to the exit. That could be. That makes sense. Yay! Oh, it was a teleportation. So that's the teleportation. Okay, that makes sense! <laughs> that makes sense. Do you want to do this one? I have to, I have to jump up quickly. Kittens, I'm Jump coming, up quickly! Coming back! Coming back! moving so slow. So north and west are blocked. East is now blocked. We go south. We hit a wall. Well, there's walls everywhere. Except north. Now we've hit a wall. I wonder how fast we actually move. North and south are open. East and west aren't. So if I go south and then Ooh, this is a hard game. This is really, really hard. Let's see where it teleported us. Oh boy, somewhere else, completely different. Yeah, I was going north and south. Let's go all the way south and then east. That's very fast. You're getting close to the exit. <laughs> no, those are walls. Oh, that's the wall, sorry. East. We ran out of time. Running out of time. Yeah, heartbeat. It's going crazy. Uh, you're down to zero zero. It's very hard to figure things out because it. I went to the map and it was a north south hallway, but I press like forward for like half a second, and it's like. Did -did 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 -did. So I'm like, I can zoom up and down the hallway in, in an instant. Just press north. Am I at the north end of the hallway? Oh no, I made it. I did go east. It's very fast. You move really, really fast. Yeah. So if I go east, east and, and then, then north, north, probably. Like watch. Instant. Yeah. It's you move very fast. That's now I'm at the end of the hallway in the north on that side. out of time mm. so a very interesting concept mm -hmm. i think possibly you move like really really fast though i want to um well you're holding it you're not going click 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 you're holding yeah. it you're just going really fast yeah i i think it, if there are monsters you'll run right into a monster if you move that fast yeah i i don't think on the easy level there's a lot of dangers by the sounds of things more sense now. So I went to the teleport. Teleporter because I just ran straight east. Mm. Now I'm in the next part. I can go south all the way and then go... Oh, then I want to straight. And then I should be on the right-hand side of that hallway. Oh boy. 
I guess you only see walls when you look at them. Mm -hmm. It only maps them out. Oh, no, I didn't mm -hmm. go down to that south end of the hallway. Yeah. There we go. Then go actually east, yeah. So oh, there was another teleporter. Again. Excellent. So really to map out everything, you need to spin mm. right around. Interesting. Um, so I don't know if this would work for um, a person who's visually impaired because... You don't know if you're going north, south, east, or west. Yeah, you don't know where you're starting, but does, and you don't know how much you're turning. I don't know if it would. You would it would have to be north, south, east, west. If you if Some, you change yeah, the like, control north, south, east, west with step north, south, east, yes, west, then that, that would work. But not with adjusting the compass. What was that? Was that a monster? Was that good? I don't know. Look at the map. Look at the map. I was assuming that red? was a monster. Yeah, that's a monster. See the red? Yeah. Danger. Oh, so that that big ping was a monster. Yeah. The exit. Oh, the exit's yellow. So I missed it. There we go. Cool. Very interesting very cool. game. Not the most visually <laughs> exciting one to look at, but uh, did, it is a very did, neat game. You did say that it was not visually interesting. <laughs> Well, but I did enough. want to put it on the show because of how, how unique it, it was. Yeah. Yeah. So let's move on to the last game of the day. Sprite says I would be awesome at that game because oh, yeah. no one would see me in that room. That's right. No monsters would attack Sprite. He'd just be these little glowing yellow eyes in the darkness. That's right. If there was some, uh, even the tiniest bit of light, his big eyes would yeah. be reflecting. Yeah. Uh, the last game we're going to be playing is called Zap by Igor Kroman. Uh, uh, Igor, who runs Atari Gamer. Mm -hmm. um, and this was December 12, 2021, 24K game. Um, and Igor gave me the advi in advice to make sure to build power stations in Zap. It is a tower defense game. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. And we're going to take a look at... Um, the instructions first on the website because Who brought we need it? to know. Oh, Atari did. Didn't you hear me say he brought down a teddy? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, and <laughs> I showed it to that? the camera. Oh, well, I was away or? No, you're in here. Oh, you're just concentrating I was on playing the game, the game I guess. Yeah. Oh, you're so it was cute. Super cute. Yeah. Not him, the other guy. No, yeah. <laughs> Atari's the toy hug, toy, um, yeah, I haven't really seen him carry around a oh, toy. Oh, I've, I've seen him carry toys. He does. He likes the really big ones. Like the oh, big, yeah, the big he round does. Ones, Bigger than guy. him sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Zap, a downloadable game. Z -z 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 zombies, protect your fortress from the onslaught of zombies headed mm. your way. Put each zombie at peace. Zombie at peace. Get it? <sighs> Stop zombies attacking people, Zap. You can't rest until all zombies are perished. This is an actual Lynx game, Atari Lynx game. You'll need an Atari Lynx emulator to play it. Well, we'll play on a real Atari. Uh, power plants versus zombies, yes. Uh, Zap was a game made for the Atari gamers, and he made it himself for nice. his own competition. Nice. Uh, not, a, not a competition, a game jam. A game jam. Uh, Lynx Jam 2021, it's a tower defense style game where waves of zombies approach your fortress. The game jam version features continuous attack arcade mode with a story mode planned for the future. The game was coded in three weeks using CC65, ABC Music, GIMP, and a couple other support tools. So there it is. There are four, four or five columns? I think it's four. Um, and waves of zombies that look like they have Cthulhu heads. And you have different weapons. How to play in Zap, you have to build offensive and defensive structures to keep zombies out of your fortress. You must balance your energy production mm -hmm. and consumption and keep an eye on the integrity of your structures in order to survive. There's a background energy generation that will fill up your energy bar, which is right mm -hmm. there. Keeps track of kills as well. But you may need to build additional power plants to support more structures. 
And he said, build those immediately. Mm. All structures require energy to be built, and all structures, except the power plant, have an idle energy usage. Structures like guns and lasers consume additional energy when activated. If a gun laser can't activate, it will power down until there's enough energy to activate it again. Mm. So we need energy. All structures have a structural integrity meter, yellow bar. Oh, there they are, right there. You see it on the weapon itself. Once this reaches zero, your structure will fall to rubble. Mm. Zombies can attack your structure, but there's also natural deterioration of structures over time. Um, so button A, that one, place the structure on the field. Button B, destroy structure on selected field, in case you made mm. a mistake or want to upgrade it. Option one, cycle through the structures to build. Um, I will have to be sitting there. Oh no. Because this does not have option one. Oh no. Um, D-pad, moot, change field position, and pause, pause the game. We don't need to do that. So here's the items. Blaster, which is the basic one. Um, uh, does one hit point damage. Uh, takes 20, 20 energy to build, so we'll be building those at first. Mm. Uh, a laser damages entire row, but it also takes more energy to build. Uh, it takes more energy to use as well. The Mega Blaster has better structural integrity. Can you stop you that bad it? cat? There's a shield wall. Uh, doesn't send damage to the zombies, um, but it has big structural integrity. So I'm guessing you put them as blockers mm -hmm. in the way, but they will definitely be torn down after a while. And a power plant, which we need to build. Um, takes build energy, but we do need to build it. Mm. Zombies, uh, they damage us for one hit point, and they have take health four of to twelve. Okay. Four to twelve hits to kill. Um, and there we go. I think uh, we got that. You can memorize all those. Blaster, mega blaster, and a laser. Mm -hmm. And the laser just goes through all the zombies. The whole, the whole, whole row of zombies, which yeah. is great because you can take them all out. Need to sleep. Need to no. sleep. Oh, just yawning. And we need to build some shield walls probably later. Yeah, when you have more. Once you have more energy. But we need to build these power plants, I think, as soon as possible because mm -hmm. I played this a tiny bit and you will die because you'll just run out of energy yeah. very quick. So I think as soon as you put some lasers up, build well, a power plant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Let's uh, jump into it. Put the links on the screen. So the options you'll have to cycle through? Yes, I'll have to sit by the options there. Okay, go for it. This is turned up quite a bit. Let me turn it down so we don't destroy our ears. <laughs> Boom! Cute. That's our gamer with the little Lynx kitty. Little fluffy Lynx. Okay, wait. Good. I think we are good for now. Okay. Kitties, I have to share a uh, oh, spot with you. Okay, so place some things. Okay, cycle. Mega blaster, laser, wall. Oh, I see. Energy. Just the first blaster. Okay. And then I need a power plant, right? Yeah. Where can I put the power plant? Uh, anywhere. Oh, here? Yeah. And then I want another. Just can't do it yet. Oh, can you get me another blaster, please? Yep. Yeah. There. You don't have enough energy oh. for the blaster. I can't turn them, can I? Okay, it's really annoying having you do that. Sorry. Not being able just to. Tell me. No, it's just, just I can't just cycle want. through and pick it, so. Just tell me what you want. Okay, oh. try again. Okay. No. Oh, no, that's no good. I need to destroy it. How do I do that? The other button. You don't get any energy back for it. No. Unfortunately, destroying it. It's okay. I need a power plant. Oh, should have told me that earlier. Okay. Don't have any 
have enough energy. Ugh, I think I'm gonna die. It immediately. I think you're right. At least one blast. I can't. First. I can't. No, you I can know. only you can only build two blasters. So you need to do a power plant and then the blasters. Okay. So power plant, please. Is that it? Blaster, please. Tell me. There you go. That's the ticket. There you go. Tell me what you need. You can build something. Oh, good for now. Because if it goes to the top, you're just wasting. Um, okay, let's destroy this and do a laser, please. You shouldn't destroy things when... Laser? Uh, when you have something there. Because you can shoot two things at once. Can I? You're just wasting energy. So I can build them deep? See, see, you controlling it you is too slow. Want. I asked for it already, so. You did? Yes. Should have said it blaster. twice. Blaster. Blaster. It is on blaster. I have no energy. Yeah, it's, uh, I want to control it. <laughs> um, try that again. I need the, um, power plant. What's the other thing? Blaster. Laser. Don't destroy anything. And a, a blaster again. Oh god, one died. What, did you kill it? No. Nope. Oh. I need a power plant. I think you made a blaster way too early. Because it uses all your energy. Yeah, it does. I think you just need the, the smaller blasters. Yeah. It's like a whole bunch of smaller blasters first. Okay, <laughs> power plant. <laughs> oh, you want another power? Yes, yes I two, do. Two power plants. Thank you. Now, blaster. Laser? Some more. Oh. oh, maybe the mega blaster. Yeah. keeping them at bay. I think I need another power plant. Okay. I need a blaster. Oh, God. That's the way to do okay, it. Okay, you can build something. Power plant. on the edge, I would build the power plant first. Power plant, then? Just keep pressing the button. It only comes up once every little bit. Energy's pretty good now. Should go the power plant, maybe? When the next one dies. Nitro Hepcat says, I like the color palette of this game. Very nice. It is really nice colors. The blues and the um, yellows. Everything's doing well. Ooh, that one's going to die. Tower. Yeah. Can you put the power plant on then? You're 
keeping them at bay pretty good. Mm-hmm. The the because those are two hit points. Those guys. Oh, uh, there. Build another power plant somewhere. Yeah, that other one's about to die there, so I'll do. I'll build it there. Oh. Somebody did mention, because this is, um, I think it, it's going to be added to, that you can set it up to be kind of stalemate, mm. but I mean, you do need to keep making things. Can you switch it to the Mega Blaster? Ooh, no, you need to put energy first, because you, will, you won't have enough energy. No, but I'm going to lose one. I'm going to need to create one right away. Very clever gameplay and nice sound effects too. Yeah, very uh, nice subdued sound effects so it doesn't get on you. It's very mm -hmm. like the low frequency ones. There you go. Power plant. Sure, one more. And blaster. Maybe a laser. I would build another power plant. Please. I will when one of them dies, but there. Laser, please. Laser. Thank you. Now the power plant. What do you want done? Mm -hmm. What do you want done? Uh, the Mega Blaster, I guess. I'll lose a power plant here soon. This one's gonna... Maybe I'll put a laser there too. Oh, do you want me to switch it? Sure. Again, not the most exciting. <laughs> Two people controlling one player in a game is the ultimate competitive. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's true. It usually goes very badly. Yes. Hi, I'm your buddy for today. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> kiss, 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 I don't know if walls are really useful because all they do is get degraded by the zombies. Yeah. Oh, blaster. It's on. What do you want? Laser. This laser. There you go. I like the lasers. They seem to degrade faster, though. Really? Yeah. Power plant? I think that's the next one that's going to go, but. Because in tower defense games, it's an arms race usually. So they get harder enemies, but then you have to put in bigger and more things on the field to defend yourself. This okay, one, laser please. This one seems to be... Uh, Sure, which first? So they're not attacking anything. So they're all degrading at their natural mm -hmm. rate. Four lasers? I think so. I mean, eventually that mega oh, blaster. Oh, we need power. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. Destroy oh. that thing. Destroy that. Things are out of balance. Oh, James. There you go. Now you have the power. It's going up. It's almost there. Keep pressing. Yay. Yeah. 
Lasers do a very good job at killing them really fast. See their t-shirts? They have a Zed in the t-shirts. Oh, cute. Zed for zombies, just in case you forget. <laughs> Laser there? Uh, we'll see. Do it all lasers, all of them. Oh, I need there. Eventually. Eventually, the laser. That mega. Oh, laser. Okay. I don't know if I should have a, another power plant. But... Probably, because the lasers. Now the lasers are using up quite a bit of your energy. Oh. I'll build another power plant somewhere as soon as you can. I know this one still is going, this mega blaster. Huh. The lasers. Very, very slowly. Yeah. yeah. Well, the lasers do. Uh, lasers do the great quick. Okay. Get power. Press it. It does go blue. It's going blue once in a while. There we go. Smack that button. Smack that button, kittens. Ding, ding. <laughs> I think you've conquered the game. I think so, too. <laughs> we can do more, but Ugh. we'll just let, let them get me. Let it all degrade. Good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Let it all degrade. Slowly go down. Mm -hmm. Because you do... I think you need the power to power the lasers, you too. You do. You do. So if all the power plants go away, oh, the power's still up. Yeah. Because one of your lasers is gone now. Yeah, the laser's gone now, so that guy's As soon gonna... as that zombie gets through and yeah. smacks your your power generator, it's over. Mm-hmm. They'll go all the way to the end. Oh, they only have two weapons now. Very cool. Uh, I hope he keeps working on this to keep it going. Mm. And um, add more weapons and more enemies smack <laughs> <laughs> they smack them down really fast wham i think it was low maybe oh yes yeah, so you can see it only takes like You're one dead. hit per little bar there you go very cool yes very very nice and Hi, the winner is... is oh tied one cat and no pets at all oh 20 yeah, percent understandable 21. Yeah. One cat is pretty good. It's uh, one cat household is pretty good. They're yeah. not. It's not too intensive. No, we They're like cuddly. two cats because the two cats keep each other company and yeah. they play, and that's really nice. And if you don't have two cats, you really do need to play with your one cat. Yeah, it's true. Because they will get really bored. We, I, when you met me, I had one cat. Yes. And I always felt very bad leaving um, Rogue by herself during yes. the day at work because she didn't really have companionship so no yeah but she'd be very happy when you came home oh I'm sure. so happy yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but these two kind of keep each other yeah wow so almost 80 percent of some kind of anim animal oh, companion. that's true yeah. if you look at it that way yeah, yeah. Seven, i mean it could be a fish point three yeah could but, be anything yeah yeah could that's be pretty pretty high that's pretty high yep could be a snake that just ignores you yeah <laughs> Most, yeah. Uh, yeah, most reptiles are like, eh, yeah. they don't really care about you too much, but some do. Yeah. yeah. My They'll sister had a, a lizard. Oh, yeah. A big, big uh, water dragon, mm. I think it was called, and it got pretty big. Is, are they the ones that have, like, faces or gills? No, or no? Oh, it just okay. had a big tail that can break your leg. Oh, really? A big, a big uh, lizard then? Sizable. Sizable. Interesting. Yep, and it could whip its tail and and yeah. smack you really hard. So yeah. interesting. Hmm. That does seem like it's more than average. Yeah. Oh, well, it's eighty percent uh, seems relatively. Survey high. of sur survey of Atari gamers. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. a very specific demographic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if cats are more common amongst video game players, because they don't require quite ah. so much running outside and stuff. I'd be very curious yes. to see the stats on that. And they can sit in your lap. They, yes. Yep, Cats while are you play. fantastic video game companions. They're not They're very really needy, good. with the exception of this black cat who's who's crying Mah. for treats. Mah. But um, I don't know. That'd be curious. I'd be curious to see if yeah. there's trends in in um. That could be. Gamer gamer pets. So, so I don't know. Let's see what's coming up on the show. All right. Okay. 
Oh, actually, let's uh, take a look at what we saw today. Oh, it's treat time. Whoa, did Whoa. you see that cat? He's <laughs> ready, ready for All the right, foods. thank you, Chelsea Johnny Mao. Dogs probably have led to many a Leroy Jenkins moment. Yes, probably. Mm. It's like, ah, gotta go feed the dog. Well, let's run in. You gonna you gonna do the treats this time, or do uh, you want nope, me to? Nope, they're stinky. They are stinky. Let's reset the scoreboard. Sprite la run last one last time. Uh, oh. Atari. Oh, is... he caught one. What? He caught one. Bad You're kitty. Bad. Okay. One, two. Oh, he's like it's upside down, by the yeah. way. Oh, 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 they oh, both one did each. It. One, one each. Get those points on the one board right now. One for you. One, one. Treat time, take two. Woo. All right. Place your bets, place your bets. Bloop. Bets are now closed. It's 2 1 for Good Sprite. Kitty. Oh, two my goodness. All for Sprite and Atari. Sprite oh, you ran his, it outside. Sprite's on his third. And you gotta close that door to make it even. Okay. Sprite's on his fourth. Atari's on his third. It's 4-3 for uh, Oh my god, Sprite. he's knocking it around. He's making it difficult. Oh my cat. Sprite is up to five points. Oh, oh too harder, soft. Harder. Harder. Smack it. Sprite's oh. on number six. Smack six, it. 6-3 for Sprite. Oh, that's a good one. Four points for Atari. This, this <laughs> he's interfering. Interference by but, the by the bunny rabbit. By the fluffy bunny. Oh, good one. Good Atari's Atari. at five. He's catching up. Oh, some soft touches by Sprite. It's not. Oh, oh just gets it in. There Seven, go. five. Atari, you have a chance to catch up. Ring that bell. Nope. Try Harder. again. Oh, Sprite, Sprite decisively it. smacks that bell. There oh, we go. Oh, there's a decisive Six, smack. eight. You can still catch up if you do it really quick. Now you have no chance. Sprite is nine points. It's game point. Oops. Oh, seven points. Terry's doing better this round, but can he make it eight? No, oh, we cannot. It's ten, ten to seven. That's it for now. That's it. There you go. <laughs> give you a few extra there. So Atari did better, but he didn't quite make it. Oh, God. Good kitties. Good kitties. I just threw you another one. It's right over there. Get it. Right here. We done. Too bad. <laughs> You don't get it. Save for later. Uh, Game point, Sprite. Sprite is Belloc to Atari's Indiana Jones. Once again, we see there is nothing that you can possess that I cannot, cannot take, take away. away. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Yes. Well, thank you, you Mr. Are. Jones. <laughs> Dr. Jones. Uh, uh, so today we played Nutmeg. Uh, very chap. Oh, is he going to get his sniffers going? Yeah. <gasps> Good sniffer. He got it. Atari got it. Oh, Sprite's like, uh, can I have that? Now that you found it. <gasps> Sprite's going for it. Oh, they're fighting over the one treat. It's wrapped in the wire. It's against yeah. a piece of plastic. <laughs> and you wonder how our wires get destroyed. Oh, Atari. Who got it? Atari got it. Atari got it! Deserved. <laughs> The show is over. Uh, yeah, sorry, RC70. <laughs> uh, so we played Nutmeg, uh, Endless Runner. Very cute. Liked very it. Very challenging. And very Lo hard. Um, looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I wish it was a little zoom more zoomed out so you could see what was yeah. coming. That's the, guy, the only downside to that game, the but it's cute. Back a little it's bit. Very cute. Just yeah. a, like at three quarters instead mm -hmm. of half, and I think it'd be it would work a lot better. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we played Black Pit. Very interesting, interesting yeah. twist on a game where you can't see anything. Yep. Um, you have to go all off on sound. Um, I think absolute movement direction might be a little bit easier. Yeah. But front, back, side, side, the north, south, east, west. Did it? Yeah. You kind of need direction. Yeah. Because of the monsters it can be in your left or right. That's why they did the um, yeah the movement, and we didn't get the full effect true, because that's true. we weren't listening on headphones. You have to be facing the direction you're moving. Yeah, yeah. and then true. Zap, um, a very uh, cool tower defense. Yeah, it's like the first level of a tower defense. Yeah, because it needs more monsters and more 
I mean, it's fine as it is, but it doesn't progress. You can yeah. get to a point where it's stable. Yeah. And I think that comment was made in the forums as well, mm. where you can just set up things and just replace them. Yeah. Constantly. And that's them. what I was doing, yeah. Yes. Towards so, the end, once you get it set up well. You need, you need the arms race kind of thing happening, where mm -hmm. things get harder, and then you need better weapons, then they get better zombies. Yeah. Or the zombies faster. more hit points or yes. I don't know, something yeah. Then yeah. the purple zombies come and then yeah. the red zombies there you come. Go. That kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So good uh Lynx games today. Yes, they were Dan. Um lots of fun. I'm really enjoying the consoleized Lynx. I'm so happy I'm able to include it in the repertoire. Mm -hmm. I am wishing that uh I now didn't have the very first one from Atari Gamer because he's now has an SNES controller. Oh, really? That you can actually access the option buttons. Oh. Most games don't use them. Yeah. But the zombie one did. Yeah. Which is why I had to sit and, and, also, and, and flip through them. Yeah. And also the black pit one used that for the map too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but most games don't use that. Mm. So it's fine. And also I would have to have an SNES different joystick made for there it that go. would be compatible but that's not yeah. the problem really uh very cool. very cool so let's take a look at what's coming up uh on the stream in the next couple shows until we go on summer break in july mm -hmm. for the first bit next one is the exclusive work in progress update of turbo arcade from champ games you Ooh, do not want to miss that that sounds good yeah it's going to be absolutely amazing it's been completely reworked mm -hmm. a huge upgrade if you thought the last iteration was amazing this is a massive upgrade from that one mm -hmm. if you can believe it that we're going to be playing on friday with darcy is it yes with darcy we're also going to be playing domino and probably one other game nice. for the 2600 as nice. well i've placed in the jaguar rotary controller special part two for uh next tuesday okay that may be bumped if some games come out for other okay. consoles because okay. that's kind of a backup those are older games mm -hmm. it's kind of a special show and uh, just put into the schedule for the last show of June, mm -hmm. we have an exclusive work in progress update of Arty. Nice. Which is the hero for 7800. Yes. The reworked hero yes, yes. from Muddy Games. Yeah. Uh, Muddy Funster. Uh, and we have, uh, we're going to be playing the final digital release of EXO yeah, so as well. It's going to be double header of muddy vision games excellent that's going to be a lot of fun um because i really love the version of Artie that he's made mm -hmm. because there's that pause in hero in the 2600 version he's and he's got rid of that uh jaguar has does have tempest yeah we played it in part one um so this is the part two the games we haven't played so you can go back and look at part one of the rotary controller um special um, and then we have a little summer break for about two weeks. I may extend it if I need more or make it shorter. Make it shorter. If, if I if want to come back earlier. Fair. That doesn't mean we won't do After Darks. It doesn't mean we won't do a There'll show. There'll be a couple some, of little shows, maybe. If something big comes up, like an exclusive world premiere, I, I would come back for that as well. And then maybe extend it afterwards. But uh, right now we're planned for... Uh, July 18th coming back because summer is always a low time yeah. for programming. The sun is outside. People yeah. go on vacation. That's true. That's very the true. The devs go into hibernation. Yeah. No, they don't go into hibernation. <laughs> hibernation is when games get made in the winter. That's true. Uh, summertime, they go out with their families. They do stuff. They go on vacation stuff. And it's sunny out here, so it would yeah. be nice to go outside here as Enjoy well. Enjoy some of the sunshine. For, Can go for Canada Day yeah. and also for um, USA Day. Yeah. Independence Day? Independence Day? No, you got two treat times. You can't go up there. It's like, but I love you. Yeah. Look at all the cuddles I'm giving you. <laughs> Tail hugs. Yay. Tail hugs for treats. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be working during that. Oh, no. He's angry. Rabbit kit kicks. <gasps> He's angry. He is angry. Oh. So during the break, I'm also going to be working on uh, Atari 2600 programming. I need to get that done. Yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. Keep talking about it. I know. I'll talk. No do. No results. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Sad. Um, so I really do need to do that. Yeah. Um, and I'll be um, updating it in... Oh, one more thing I have to show people. Mm -hmm. Updating it on in the uh, Zero Page Homebrew Club 
on Atari Age by Progress, because I already have a thread going for it. Yeah. Uh, one other thing, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, it was in the clubs as well. I have to go to the clubs. And it's with to do with my 5200. There we go. Go to the Zero Page Homebrew Club. Um, if you didn't know, there's a Zero Page Homebrew Club. Um, there's go. an FAQ all about the equipment we use and explanation of things people might be wondering about. But I also do a, a ZPH streaming and hardware updates thread as well. Oh, nice, yeah. Where I update things I'm fixing in this um, or problems that I'm having. And so people can help me out. Thomas mm. Yench helps me out a lot there. Uh, Revenge as well. So let's scroll down to the latest. There it is. So Atari 5200 controller survey. Mm. I have five original Atari 5200 controllers that I've collected with systems over the years. And I've noted as I bought them, bought them that there were problems with every controller. None each of controller. them worked. Yeah. I have never marked them exactly what the problems were with each of them. I just knew there was a problem. Mm -hmm. Today I set aside some time to test each of them out and here are the results. Uh, number one, nothing working. Not surprising as all the screws were missing and it looked like I had taken it apart at some point in a futile attempt to fix it. Uh, controller number two, joystick working and but all the all buttons, the buttons are bad. don't work. Because well. there are like a telephone style button at the bottom. Yep. And a start, pause, uh, reset mm. buttons. And then there are four fire buttons, two on one side, two on the other. Um, all the buttons are bad on that one. Joy and the third one, joystick and keypad are working. Buttons, start, pause, reset are bad along the top. Wow. Controller four, joystick and keypad working. Fire buttons, start, pause, reset are bad. Wow. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't say anything about the fire buttons. I guess I incorporated that into fire buttons. So buttons three and four general. are the same. Yeah. Controller five, joystick, keypad, start button, uh, start, pause, reset buttons are working. Fire buttons are bad. My goodness. Uh, looking at the instructional videos on fixing Atari 5200 controllers, it appears that I can probably get a number of these controllers working with very little effort. Mm -hmm. um, because they are basically, um, you have to connect little interwoven ground and um, signal together with a conductive pad and that's the conductive pad is on the fire button or the one button so that when you press it down those ground out okay and it makes a connection mm. so either the conductive pad is dirty okay or those um, wires are dirty so you just open it up clean and it clean it all mm. off and usually that fixes it good and if that doesn't fix it, then you need the plastic overlay that has the conductive wires on it. And you can buy replacements for those. Oh, okay. That's it. Oh, and okay. And the thing is that four out of five, the joysticks are working. Yeah, and that's it's not the buttons. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the easy part is fixing the buttons. Yeah, the fixing buttons. Fixing the joystick. Is a bigger problem. It's, it's a bigger problem, but not too bad because those are controlled with um, mm. pots of... Um, potentiometers mm. I believe like it's um, and I tested all of those out it had the full range so it from was all zero good. to 128 or 255 okay. those were all good hmm. except for one of them which had completely taken apart and I'm sure just all the wires are everything's just yeah just disconnected um, controllers are usually pretty simple to work on these have a lot of buttons though yeah so you just have to do a lot of cleaning mm. so I'm just gonna set aside a, a couple hours yeah. a chunk of time open one one after the other yeah. and just clean it completely open the next one clean it completely open the next one and then just have the 5200 nearby and go click mm. works not works next and then mark on them still bad yeah so do a repair -thon, i'm sure some people will be like stream it stream it yeah like, stream it stream it you can stream so it from from the uh... the problem with streaming it you have to talk the whole time <laughs> So no. No, just play some um, uh, uh, eight bit whatever the tunes. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Chip tunes. Yeah. Play some chip, chip tunes, tunes while you're doing it. You can talk, and and everyone can listen to chip tunes. Uh, despite the conductive pad issues with buttons, the Atari joysticks are really solidly built. Mm. Yeah, pretty. That's that's very true. And um, I don't I don't mind these joysticks too much. The buttons on the side not great. Mm. The actual controllers at the top they're fine. Uh, the keypads are fine. Find the start 
those buttons at the top are very stiff, but you don't use them much, mm -hmm. right? So it's really the the fire buttons at the side. I don't really care about them. I just want to get them working because I have substitutes. Yeah. I have enough for four people, substitutes for wow. the 5200. Wow, okay. Not for um, analog, but I have one analog and then three digitals. Three digital, okay. And I think most of the games that we would play four player would be all digital games. Okay. So just left, right, not something, a little bit left, a yeah. little bit right, yeah. People glue aluminum foil, I've seen that as well. Mm -hmm. So that is like kind of the next step. But I might just, yeah, I might just try that. If, if, one, if one thing is out, like one of the buttons is out, then I would do the aluminum foil. If like the whole thing or five mm -hmm. buttons are out, I would get a whole replacement keypad. Um, can't remember what it's called. Uh, foil, not a foil. Whatever it is. Uh, overlay? Overlay? I don't know. Something like that, an overlay, yeah. 5200 trackballs are supposed to be nice, but they're rare as rocking horse crap. Uh, yeah. And they're. Membrane, yes. That membrane, that's yeah, what I was trying to word. think of. And they're as big as the 5200 as well. Oh, wow. They're oh, yes. I think huge. I've seen photos of them. Yes, they are big. Because there is the ball in the middle. And then it's like a big. And then there's like almost two keypads as yes, well on I either side. That. Yeah. It's just yeah. massive. I, if I, I don't have a space for it. Even if I wanted <laughs> to buy it, I don't want to buy it because nobody's made. One person is made. Ryan, uh, well, I'm forgetting his last name. Um, uh, Phaser Cat Games. Okay. He's yeah. pretty much the only person making 5200 games. Mm. Um, and he Ryan makes, Whitmer. Ryan Whitmer, and he only makes one a year. Yeah. Pretty much. So. Um, but he has made rollerball games. Nice. Multiplayer rollerball games. Nice. So you have to have two of these things. Yeah. He's insane. <laughs> um, but one day... Someone has multi... has two. <laughs> yeah. Now that Ryan, we have... Um, <laughs> Erlen back. Yes. And Darcy. Yes. We have to plan that four-player yes. day coming up. Yes. Which will involve Ryan Whitmer's games. Nice. Yeah. Because he's made some four-player 5200 games. So we're awesome. going to have a four-player day. Um, you'll, mm, we'll have, you'll either have to take the day off work. Well, that's doable. I mean, I yeah. can take a day off here and there in the summer. Yeah. Um, I'm not against that. Because they would have to be here on a Friday, because Darcy would have to be on a Friday. Yeah, It would be an fine. early at noon day. Yeah, yeah, we can do um, that. Because they both can do that. Unless there's a holiday, but I, I don't know when the but bank they, holiday is, so. On a Friday? Yeah. The August bank holiday? When is it usually? Is it usually that? on a Monday? I think it's usually on a Monday. Anyway. Uh, I love yeah. games like that. I just bought the foot pedal because of Thrust Plus. I'll buy two trackballs well, for a single, single game. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yep. Uh, that foot pedal is super cool. Mm. Um, and I may be using it soon. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's the nice little side note there. Um, so thanks for hanging out with mm -hmm. us, playing some Lynx games. Some next fun games today. Friday we're going to be playing some 2600 mm -hmm. games. i got to get ready for that. And Is it, uh, Darcy on Friday? Um, Darcy on Friday. On Friday. But we have uh, Turbo. Yes. So we have to get a couple yes. things going for that. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, thank you, Dan. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you, Carl G, for tuning in. RC7E, uh, Cafe Man, Gamma Dev. Shit, la la. Uh, Render Re Ghost. Render Ghost. Pseudographics. Pseudographic. Metal Lunar. Nitro Hepcat. Thank you for chatting. Yeah. First time chatter. Thank you for following. Yep. Azure. Double Down. Thank you for the Double joystick. Down. Yes. Eternally grateful for that joystick. Schedules are for nerds. Yes, I agree. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, Yes. Miss Command, Miss thank Command. you for feeding. Thank you for feeding the yeah, kitties. They're very happy about your that. Oh, your rapper. S. Ramirez, B. B R. Pocock. Um, uh, old Style. Hey, Old Style. Didn't see your name there. Yeah. Dios Kilo, Splendid Nut. And everybody Alan else Fur, who's lurking. That's right. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us on a Tuesday mm -hmm. evening. We'll be back on Friday at noon with Darcy. So uh, have a great yes. week. And uh, we'll see you then. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.